What a long sweet trip it's been for Jonathan King and Jim Stott, owners of Stonewall Kitchen. The whole thing started rather accidentally about 20 years ago when a friend suggested they start selling their homemade sauces, mustards, and jams at a local farmer's market. We had never thought of the idea of selling these products that we made. That first weekend they made $250, so King and Stott stuck with it. Word began to spread about these two guys at the local farmer's market that are making really crazy things like roasted garlic and onion jam, raspberry peach champagne jam. Before long, King and Stott were selling so many products at farmers markets, fairs and festivals, it became evident they could make a living doing this full time. Leaping forward from 1995, um, Stonewall Kitchen has grown from making 12 jars of jam in our little pot on the stove to making 40 to 50,000 jars a day. Uh, we opened nine of our own retail stores, a cooking school, a restaurant, and we sell to about 5,000 stores worldwide. And it all starts here, at this beautiful state-of-the-art facility in York, Maine, which includes the company's flagship store and headquarters, including manufacturing. This is it, this is the, the mothership. We manufacture about 275 different products in our factory and um, some of them date back to the first items at the farmer's market. Secret spices. Among those mouth-watering concoctions, wild Maine blueberry jam, red pepper jelly, Maine maple syrup, and farmhouse pancake and waffle mix. And if you don't know what something tastes like, just ask. They'll open anything in the store and let you try it. Hi, Where are you nice from? You. Uh, Wellesley, Massachusetts. And how did you find out about us? My friend just drove me here and I'm so Hi, excited. Hi, I'm Jonathan. Hi. Unlike the early days, Many of Stonewall Kitchen's products are now dreamed up in an on-site research and development lab and perfected in the flagship store's test kitchen. We have a taste paneling group that comes in and evaluates the products and rates them on whether they feel it's a product worthy of the Stonewall Kitchen name. And um, if it's not, we make a couple changes to it and make sure that it's the best product it can be. A few years ago, Stonewall Kitchen also added a Parisian-style cafe. An unbelievable lobster roll. The meat is all fresh and picked daily right here in local York. And Stonewall Kitchen's latest addition is an amazingly designed cooking school. I'm not a serious cook, I'm a home cook. And we wanted to have a school that would kind of emphasize that and teach people basic skills and give them new recipes that they could learn and that would be easy to do. What I'm going to teach you to make today is one of our oldest, simplest recipes for the holidays. It's an old farmhouse chutney cheese ball. I've put two 16 ounce packages of cream cheese that I've let soften and then I'm going to add to it about a third of a cup, three quarters of a cup of our old farmhouse chutney. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to kind of form it into a ball. You could let it cool for a while at this point and it may be a little bit easier to handle, but I'll just kind of quickly demonstrate the fast version. So you want to make that into a ball and then I'm going to coat the entire outside with chopped pecans or walnuts or any nut of your choice. We are obsessed with the quality of our fruits and our vegetables and everything that we make. We we will not veer from any of those standards, and that has really kept us you know, in the position we are as a leader of the specialty food industry. And a long way from the local farmer's market. We hope that Stonewall Kitchen will become one of those global brands that you know, everyone knows and loves and respects.